What would happen if Meghan and Harry were to divorce? Here's where the money would go. It's official. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are now husband and wife and we only wish the best to the happy couple. But high-profile relationships don't have the best odds, and even royal romances can falter. Princess Diana, for instance, divorced Prince Charles, and Prince Andrew split with Sarah, Duchess of York. So what would happen if Meghan and Harry were to divorce? Well, a divorce could be a huge payday for Meghan. According to reports, she and Harry chose not to sign a prenup. Prince Charles and Prince William didn't either. I don't think members of the royal family sign prenuptial agreements. Katie Nichol, author of Harry, Life, Loss, and Love, told Town & Country. It's commonplace with celebrity marriage, but this is not a celebrity marriage, it's a royal marriage. In December, international divorce lawyer Jeremy D. Morley told TMZ England recognizes prenups, but they're not binding, they merely influence a judge's decision. Furthermore, all of the couple's wealth gets divvied up not just what each spouse brought into a marriage. As an example, DMZ says Diana got $23 million when she and Charles finally divorced. So what kind of money are we talking about here? Meghan has a reported $5 million to her name, but Harry has a reported $40 million. Plus, he, Prince William, and Kate Middleton get income from Charles' private estate. In 2016, for example, they split $4.4 million of income. If Meghan and Harry do divorce, though, we might not hear all the details, especially because the negotiations would happen outside of court. In the modern history of the royal family, the divorce is described as amicable for PR reasons. Duncan Larcombe, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, explained to town and country. And the person who is departing the royal family, they're just looked after. And those arrangements are not done through court, they're done behind closed doors. We know Diana ended up getting a new title in addition to her financial settlement, though and we know she was offered a security detail. But we're sure this will all remain in the realm of the hypothetical. We have no reason to believe Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will live in anything other than happily ever after.